Hello, everybody, and top of the line in our leadership group. Um, my name is Sherry Gibson, and I told you that I would be coming to you live today with some recruiting tips. So I think, oh, it's just kind of doing a couple of goofy things here on my screen. And I think we're good. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a few minutes for um, some people to jump on and join us. And I'm going to share with you my top five uh, recruiting tips that I do. And I work with my organization um, and teach them these as well. So jump on with me, um, message your team quick, let them know I'm here. I will post the video afterwards so you can watch the replay. So if you are watching the replay, replay put hashtag replay so we know that you joined afterwards. And I'm really disliking the lighting right here, but that's okay. Okay, we'll give it another minute for everyone to come on. I hope everyone's having a good day. It's supposed to be a nice, bright, warm day out. So that is um, fabulous. I don't know if I can get any better lighting. Maybe if I close my blind. Maybe that's a bit better. Okay, well, let's get started. And those people that um, come on and maybe miss the first couple, you guys can um, head back and watch the replay afterwards. So you're gonna wanna have a pen and paper ready to go for this one. I've got five tips ready to go for recruiting that works like a charm for me, and I would love to share them with you. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Sherry Gibson. I am a three-star Pearl Elite Director from Regina. So I live here in Regina with my two girls. I have a five-year-old and a two-year-old and my husband of married seven years. <laughs> Don't tell him that I almost forgot. And I started Tupperware about three years ago and I have a big about in there because I um, signed up to get the modular mates at a discount for our house that we were building. And I swore I was never going to sell a single piece of Tupperware. And I did, obviously, but the journey has been, has been incredible and it's so much has changed from those three years. So when I first started, I swore I wasn't going to sell a single piece. I just wanted the discount to stock up our pantry. And then I started to see um, how, how amazing this opportunity is. I started watching some things in top of the line, you know, people earning Disney and people earning Hawaii and free cars and just having um, a choice of what you can get paid. I was like, oh, I need to figure out more about this. So I started looking into it and stepped up to manager. And then I got pregnant with our second and I was so sick. My pregnancies both were brutal. Um, so, so sick through all of them. So I, I don't can't remember if it was manager or star manager, but I ended up losing my title and actually stepping down um, during all that just because I clearly was sick and I was teaching full time at the time and I was just trying to get through my days of surviving. So when I came back, I had to work my way back up to manager. And then I kind of went all in after my um, second was here and you know, was like, you know what, I want to head for this director. I want to know um, how this director gig works because I want to be able to stay home with my girls and not go back to teaching. So that is what I did. I did end up going back to teaching though um, for part of the year after um, my mat leave. And that's when I really dived into Tupperware and became a director. So then I went back to work and I was just, wouldn't say I was happy at work um, because I knew the opportunity that was waiting for me every day when I got home that I just wanted to tupper, tupper, tupper all day. And um, then I went back to school for a little bit. I was off for surgery, went back again for a little bit, went off for surgery and then the world shut down. So I literally went back to school for four days and the world shut down and I was like, what? <laughs> so that is when I really, really started working my business the most was 2020. We have exploded and we're still exploding into 2021. And we are now a three star Pearl Elite director organization. And all four of our directors, including myself, officially drive Tupperware vehicles. So our last director, Pia, so a big shout out to Pia. She just earned her um, Nissan Rogue. So that is all directors on our team now officially have Tupperware cards. And that's super exciting. So we have grown um, a lot. And I'm just going to share my top five um, recruiting tips with you. So the best suggestion that I can always give you 
is Rita is your new best friend. So keep Rita close. She is your BFF. You are going to want to know Rita. So what Rita stands for is recruiting is the answer. So recruiting is hands down the answer to growing because every recruit you have can be the person that's going to change your team, can be your next manager, can be your next star manager, can be your next executive manager or your two-star director. So recruiting is the answer. And um, you never know where someone's going to go with taking on this opportunity. I swore I was not selling a single piece of Tupperware and I was not going to do another home business um, because I have done so many. Um, I can't even actually count them on my hands. I've done that many. And none just ever worked out. None ever resonated. None were ever rewarding enough. And none were ever something that you could succeed in. And that's what I love about Tupperware is everybody starts at the same place and everybody has the same opportunity. I know lots of businesses out there where you see the top people maybe driving a car or um, earning the big bucks. And then they tell you only 2% of um, people actually get there. And it's just like, well, the odds aren't good to get there. I want to be in something where I can succeed. And that is truly what Tupperware has done for me and my family. So my first one, knowing that Rita is your best friend, so recruiting is the answer, always have Rita close by. Number one, and I wouldn't say that these are in any particular order, they're just my top five. I wouldn't rank them, you know, one being the best and five being the fifth thing. They would just be my overall top five. So my first one, and I can't um, emphasize or enforce this one enough, is ask everyone literally ask everyone because if you don't someone else is going to and later you're gonna go oh i should have asked them and they're already on someone else's team and it has happened um to me it's happened to some people on our team and then my thing is is when someone comes to me frustrated i'm like well did you ask they're like no it sucks it's a big like punch in the gut but if you didn't ask so always ask everyone and the worst case scenario you're going to get a no so you flip that no to an on and you move on for now and come back later that no does not mean no forever um something in their life just might not be the right timing and that doesn't mean in a month or two months down the road that the timing's going to not be right and they're going to come on and jump on with you. So check in with them again and be like, you know, I know we talked about it two months ago. Um, how are you feeling about it now? And just ask, ask again. Um, and let them know what is different about the opportunity from now till then. Maybe they were um, not really digging the welcome offer and this month is the smooth chopper and they really wanted the smooth chopper. Let them know about the opportunity again and ask them again, because if they see that post somewhere else from someone else, they might jump on board from someone else and that kind of sucks. So just follow up with them and ask them again. So the first one is to ask everyone, because if you don't, someone else is going to. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, and this is my biggest, biggest, biggest one, is giving two price options to every single person that orders in a party. So yes, that takes um, a bit more time um, to close up a party. It takes a bit more work. It takes a bit more wording, but it is 110% worth it. So what you do is when someone set has, sends you a message and they're like, I would like to order the fridge smarts. Okay, great. I'm going to get you a total for that. So then what I do is I message them back and say, okay, here is your total at regular price. That is your first option. The second option is um, your total with 25% off of this order, a $20 membership, and 25% off a of Tupperware for a whole year. And then I explain to them that there's no commitments, but if they choose to sell to a couple friends and family, they can, but they're also saving themselves some money today. And probably eight times out of 10, people are going to do that. People want to save money. I want to save money. I'm cheap. So if I can save $20, if only Costco had that deal with my membership. So if I could go into Costco and save $20 by buying the membership, you bet I'm buying a membership, but Costco's got me hooked anyways, but that's a different story. <laughs> but let people know that when they do get that membership, they're not only saving money today, but they're also going to get a smooth chopper for $20. They're also going to, um, you know, we could have a welcome party and then talk about how a welcome party can benefit them. So that membership is just a little seed to where they're going to be going and where they can grow. And the best thing is, is everybody starts there 
and everybody has a choice of where they're going to go. It's your job to share the opportunity with them and let them know how it can help them. So I always like to say, you know what? You also get some samples. Check out the sample prices. If you place your order, you can might as well add some samples on it when you enter um, into your account and you have that opportunity as well. So there's so many choices and opportunities that they can get from $20. And believe me, and I'm sure most of us have um, wasted $20 on a lot of things in our life. And like this $20 can literally change people's lives. Um, and that's what I love about it. And it starts with giving them that second price option. Now, questions I've had about the second price option are a couple things. So when I do a party and I'm giving two price options to everyone, I'll give you an example. So last week I had um, nine recruits or eight recruits counting the host from a party. So I didn't make much from that party and that's okay. I don't want to make money from the party. I have to think, okay, I've recruited this person. This person is now on my team. Yeah. I might be losing $20 from, um, um, commission today because I gave her her discount because she chose that today. So she gets that today, but in a month from now or next month, when she is placing a sample art order and she's having a welcome party and all of a sudden she's a manager look what that just gave me. I've made my money back and more, right? So you have to think of it in terms of short-term growth, short-term, um, I've lost my train of thought, short-term example for long-term growth. No, that's not what I meant. Little deal right now for long, um, big growth later, long-term success, right? So little thing right now, and then something that you're going to get later that can be a long-term success. So, um, don't think of it as you're not making anything on a party. Think of it as, okay, she's now on my um, total team sales. Look what I'm getting monthly from this commission instead, right? So um, just kind of a little positive switch on that. So that's number two. So number one was ask everyone. Number two is giving two price, price options to every single person that orders. And if you're looking for um, a form or something like that, I'm not sure if it's posted here in leadership, but I definitely will share that with you guys. I don't use the form anymore. It just comes with habit with typing up, typing up um, my response to people or talking to them. But there is um, a little sheet where you can kind of write it out for them. Here's a retail price. Here is um, the price of the discount. This is what it looks like, which one best works for you. And you can send that visual off to them. That helps too. Um, and once maybe you get into the flow of it, you don't need that. But I would be happy to share that um, sheet that's been made and shared around TOTL as well. I can't take credit for it. I didn't make the sheet. And, um, but I would love to share that with you guys too. Okay. The third thing is, it is always, always, always my goal to recruit the host, okay? So I talked a little bit about it with number two, but it's always important to let your host know the incredible opportunity that they can get by purchasing um, the large bundle or the $20 membership and what that can do for them from their party today. So. I always tell them, okay, let's say your sales from this party are $1,200. Well, there's level one and level two of confidence start program. You've also earned the um, Apple core and the trunk organizer bag. You've also earned um, the smooth chopper welcome bonus. And because you had so many recruits on your, from your party too, when your first recruit submits their $1 order or more, you're also going to get the recruiting offer too, which is the speedy Mando. So from their party alone, huge, amazing benefits and so many opportunities. And it's important to share that all with them because if you don't share that with them, they're just going to say, no, enter my party. I'll take the free Tupperware and the half off. And that's it because you didn't share the opportunity. They need to know what it is because if they're just having a party, they don't know those exclusive rewards that they can get by having their own membership from this party. So I always like to explain that to the host as well. And then they can get the membership and I'll host flip them. Their party goes under them. And then they can also add some samples to that first order because now they have their own membership and why not throw in some samples on the same order to save on shipping. And so I really like to share that with hosts and probably like 9.5 out of 10, I'm recruiting the host because I'm sharing the opportunity with them. And I tell them, you know, with your membership, you can choose to sell to a couple of friends and family. There's no commitment. You don't have to. Um, or you can simply just shop for the discount for a year like I did, and then I turned it into this. And that is what is incredible about the opportunity with Tupperware is that 
it's a choice what you want to make. It's a choice where you want to take it. And everybody has that same opportunity. And that's what I love. Okay. So that's number three. So a little quick, a little recap. Some people are popping in and out is number one, ask everyone. Number two, give two prices to everyone. Number three is host flipping. And number four, moving on to number four. So number four is branding. So this isn't an instant recruit right away, but this is drawing people to you. So this is in terms of sharing your brand, making you stand out from the rest. What is unique about you as a Tupperware manager, consultant, star manager, executive manager, or director and above? What can your brand be? So think about something um, that's personal to you. How are you going to share um, you as a Tupperware consultant? What does that look like? Um, so for example, what is your VIP name page? Is it just Sherry Gibson Tupperware independent consultant? Well, that's, I changed mine. I'm just like, well, that doesn't really brand me. That just makes me look like every other consultant out there, out there. I want it to be different and it's still not the brand name I want. Um, but I feel like I'm getting there. I'm trying to come up with some more ideas, but mine is organize your kitchen with Sherry. And the thing is, is Tupperware is not just about organization. It's a big part of it, but it's not all of it. So to me, I'm still looking for that really big, like, aha, yeah, that's my branding name. I'm not quite there yet. I have some ideas, but I'm not going to change it until it really, really sticks with me. And that's what people are going to look for you on Facebook. That's what people are going to look for you on Instagram. Um, when people are out, I want them to be like, Hey, that's that Sherry organize your kitchen girl, right? Like that is the brand that I want to have because then people are going to want what you have. Okay. And they're going to want to be in Tupperware because they saw where you are. Okay. So branding yourself. And that could be, I'm not even wearing one today. So I'm kind of feeling guilty. Um, a Tupperware shirt, um, a Tupperware mask when I'm out right now, Tupperware car, people come up to me all the time. And oddly enough, they're looking at me driving a Tupperware car and they're like, Hey, do you, do you actually sell Tupperware? Yeah, that's how I got this free ride. So people don't know that that is an opportunity with Tupperware. So then that leads into an opportunity that leads into a contact, right? The best thing is I can say when I have stuff that are, I'm branding myself with and someone comes up and approaches me and asks a Tupperware question, don't give them a catalog. Don't give them a business card, get their contact because nine times out of 10, if I say, yeah, here's my card. Um, here's a catalog. I'm not hearing from Betty. Betty's not calling me. Um, she might flip through the catalog or whatever, but I've, I I've done that in the past and I'm still waiting calls from Betty that are like, I'm going to call you. I need to order, or I need to do this. or I have some warranty. Okay. Call me. And I still haven't received the call. So what I like to do is be like, okay, I'll take your information and I'll give you a call and I can set that up for you. And what I've done is I've saved myself as a contact in my phone. Um, and it is organize your kitchen with Sherry. And then it's got my phone number. So then I'll add them as a contact and text them. And then that pops up when they're getting, um, that message from me. So try that put yourself as a contact, um, in your phone. I forget how I actually have that set up, but it works. And then you text them. And when it pops up, it's going to say that, um, this might be, and then they're going to answer you. Right? So that's a little trick too, with branding yourself is, um, and now I can say, okay, Betty, I've got your information in here. I'm going to text you. It's going to come up with my name. Um, but here is a card too, right? So I can double that, but always important that I've got their contact as well. Okay. So that's with branding yourself and, um, Wear your Tupperware gear loud and proud. Walk around with that manager shirt if you have one. Walk around with a, a Tupperware toque or anything you have. Wear that loud and proud. Let them know that you're like, yeah, I do sell Tupperware. And look what it's done for me and my family. So let people know that, okay? Okay, that is number four and number five, okay? So this is number five. Um, this, this is a tricky one. And I feel this is like a constant one that you have to continue to keep working on and to continue to build on. And it comes with practice and consistency. Okay. So this one is asking open, stop asking open-ended questions. So if I say to Betty, I don't know why I'm just using Betty's name. Um, Hey Betty, would you like the Tupperware membership? No. Well, 
come on, I, I know, I know it'd be so good for you or it would do this, this and this, but it's too late to say that and to put the opportunity in, um, plant that seed of the opportunity because Betty's already hooked on no. So I want to find something that, um, how Tupperware can help Betty. What can Tupperware do for Betty? Oh, Betty really, really could use some, you know, organization and saving some money. Well, modular means let's organize your pantry. Let's stop throwing away stuff. Um, what about the fridge smarts? You're telling me that you're always tossing strawberries. Well, in the winter when strawberries aren't in season, you know, you're throwing away almost $10 a time every time you're tossing a box of strawberries. So looking for something to help Betty. So, hey, Betty, you were mentioning that um, you needed some help with, uh, you know, preserving your produce to last longer. I have um, a product that does that and you're not gonna be throwing away those strawberries all the time. Did you wanna check that out? Yeah, let me know how I can do that, how I can save money, how I can save my produce. Then I can say, well, you know what? It's $116 for this whole um, set, but with the Tupperware membership, you're gonna save 25% off of that today. And you can save 25% off of Tupperware for a year. So you want to find a reason to help them and then let them know about the opportunity. Um, another thing I also do, so I'm not asking open-ended questions, is when I'm booking a party. So kind of the open-ended questions goes for recruiting, but it also works for parties too. So if somebody is asking, um, I'm telling the host, like you need two parties to get to your um, two datings to really maximize your host rewards, let's get asking some friends. So I tell her the host, and when I ask, I give them two dates, okay? Always give two dates, always, always, always. Because if I'm saying, I'm gonna stop using Betty's name, um, Karen, <laughs> let's use it Karen. So if I say, hey, Karen, um, would you like to have a Tupperware party to help out Betty's party today? She needs two two friends to book a party. Now, well, dang, I know, I know you could do it and I know you'd have a good party and I know you wanna help your friend, but you just told me no, darn it. Okay, let's move on to the next. However, if I say to Karen, hey, Karen, Betty's looking for two people to help her out on this party and say help. People love helping people. I have this date and this date available. Which one works best for you? Okay, so see the difference. Hey, Karen, would you like to have a party to help Betty? No, <laughs> come on, Karen. Or giving them options of two dates. So letting them know that I have, you know, this date available and this date available. I can sneak you in on one of those dates if you like, which one works best for you. So giving them the option, not leaving it open-ended, okay? And the same works with, with recruiting as well, is would you like to buy the membership? No. Do you want the $129 bundle that's worth $530? No. Bah! <laughs> right? So I want to give them um, how that bundle is going to help them or save them money. So it kind of goes back into all of my recruiting tips, looking for a way to to help them, to save them money, to save them time, to save them waste, to save them space, right? All of those things that Tupperware is all about, to help the environment, right? To get rid of single use plastics. There's so many solutions that Tupperware has for today that we need to be sharing that opportunity with people, letting them not only know how it can change their lives, how it can help us, but how we can help others and how we can help the environment as well and show your passion in that. So my passion is truly about how I can help other people, what I can do to help them. We literally in my house now, my husband and I get like mad at each other if we come home from grocery shopping and that one thing does not go in a fridge mart because we know that if it doesn't in two days from now, those strawberries are going in the garbage. And it's just like, well, why don't I just throw, you know, my eight bucks in the garbage? So. I truly like to share that with people saying, you know what, stop wasting your money. Um, stop throwing it in the garbage, right? So I want to share my passion of the opportunity of what it's done um, for me. And my biggest thing that for the longest time that I used to be kind of, I don't, I don't know what the proper word is, maybe shy. And I'm not a shy person. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm me. You can see me maybe in this video, but I used to not shout loud and proud that I sell Tupperware. People would ask me what I do and I'd be like, I'm a teacher and I sell Tupperware, right? And now it's like, no, 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 no. Tupperware is what I do, okay? Uh, for those that don't know, I fully resigned from teaching and Tupperware is my full-time gig now. And I shout that loud and proud. Um, 
during the last few days, that Tupperware car isn't parked in the garage where people can't see it. It's on the driveway. I want people to know what Tupperware has done from our family. So that kind of goes back to, I guess, number four with branding. Shout it loud and proud. Let people know. Okay, that is kind of, I think that's from all of my notes, um, but I want to share a couple of things with you um, to also go with. So the other thing is, is you have all of these recruiting tips, you have all of these new fabulous new recruits coming in, then it is also your job to work with them. You don't want to just recruit them and sign our friend. You want to make them feel welcome to the Tupperware family. This Tupperware family, this um, top of the line that we have together and everything that Cora has put together. This is an enterprise like holy cow. We are so lucky to have this. It is truly like the best feeling and it is such a family and everybody is there for any everybody no matter what. And I absolutely love the support, the positivity, the empowerment. Um, I have never had that in anything in my life before. And that is what I truly love about Tupperware. So you want other people to feel that when they come in. So the biggest thing is, is when you're welcoming um, a new recruit to your team and you've recruited them, welcome them, bring them into your director team page, make sure they're in your director team page so that they can see exclusive offers, team challenges, let them know what is there for your team, but don't stop there. Make sure you welcome them into, into top of the line. I always say that if it wasn't for me, being in top of the line, I would not be where I am today because it was me seeing those directors two years ago, what they were getting and what they were earning where I'm like, what? This is from Tupperware. I want this. I want in. So make sure you're adding them to your groups. Make sure you're adding them to top of the line. Also, a big thing that I like to do right away too is when I do recruit them, I screenshot that final um, image that pops up. So it says, thank you for your order. And then on the left side column, it's got like their name. Um, and then their ID number is there. So I screenshot that little part and I send that to new each new recruit right away because then they have their ID number right away and they can log in right away instead of waiting from the email from Tupperware. Okay. They're welcome email and they can get in. I let them know the website address right away. So I tell them, hey, you can go and log in at www.mytupperware.ca, click the gray banner first time here, it's gonna pop up with your website choices and then explain the website choices to them that they get 90 days free and do it. When it's free, it's for me and you can cancel at any time. So set them up for success right away. So it doesn't end at recruiting them, um, set them up for success right away. Okay, so what you do is you do your welcome post, you give them the information right away um, and let them know their login stuff and then let them know what is new for samples. So let them know April samples just came out. Here's an opportunity for you to order now. Um, let them know about sales that just came out. Let them know everything right away. Actually, take a step back. Don't let them know everything right away because it can become overwhelming. Let them know the important things right away. Let them know that their welcome bonus offer is going to load as a coupon in their account. Um, let them know that it won't be possibly right away. It's a month long earning offer. It might not be until next month. Coupons lows on Fridays. Give them those little tips right away so they know. Um, for example, in our director group, we have a get started album and there's one in top of the line as well. Take them in that album. Let them know where that information is right away so they can do some reading on it. Now, depending on where your host, you knowing your host and where they're at or your recruit, maybe don't do that everything right away because it's too much. And sometimes some people, if it's too much at once, you're checking out. You're like, mm, now I'm done. This is too much. I'm not in. I thought this was easier. So some might need little babier steps. Some might want to dive in and want it all right away, but get a feel for them and let them know. Okay. Um, for me and um, when I was manager, I like to message all new recruits on my teams and I still like to try to do that when I remember um, and I try to be consistent with it on Thursdays and I'll just give them a welcome and say, hey, I just saw that you joined our team. I'm Sherry, your upline director. Welcome to our team. Have you booked a welcome party or some kind of question that they might need um, that they are 
um, maybe needing or want from their welcome? Or did you redeem your coupon or something? Depending on the situation and where they're at, but I like to make that personal approach with everyone right away. And I think I'm kind of through most of my notes here and also reaching out with them for that message and giving them that welcome and everything and kind of setting them up right away. You're building that relationship. Um, and I like to know things about my team as well. I don't want it to always be tupper, 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 no sex, no supper, just tupper, tupper, tupper. If you guys have heard that from Sonia, sometimes I do because I've got some big goals on the, on the go, but um, I want to know them on a personal level as well. I want to know, Hey, do you have any kids? Where do you live? What do you do? Right? Like I want to know those things about people. So in a nutshell, that is my top five recruiting tips and then taking those recruiting tips and setting your recruit up for success right away. Um, I'm going to leave with this. And this is a quote I start every single meeting with, with my team, because this is a quote that had just has hit me hard um, a long time ago. So I actually have two favorite quotes, but this one here, now think about this, work for your dreams because no one else will, right? That's kind of how it felt for me. Work your butt off for your dreams because nobody else is going to. Don't let other people stop you from where you want to go. Make Rita your best um, friend. Look for that next person that's going to change your team, um, that could change your life. Tupperware has 110% changed my life, changed our family's lifestyle. I can't, truly can't wait to see where this journey continues, continues to take me and my family. And that is the quote that I remind myself every day. I wake up every day excited to get at it because you know what? These are my dreams and no one else is going to work for them but me. So a dream is a goal with a deadline.